everybody uh, welcome back to our channel um, I am in the car me and Harlan we are well I'm going to work and Harlan's going to school we just run a little bit late well a lot of it late um, because I yesterday found out my car still had the ants in it or it could have been a like a new set of ants I don't know but they were still in my car and they were all in Harlan's seat and they were um, all crawling everywhere and so I made it to drop Harlan off at daycare and that's when I really noticed all of them and then I had drove myself to work and um, they said they had some rain because I'm not scared to tell anybody the situation I mean it's not like we're dirty dirty in here at all it's just we have ants and you know, my daughter eats after school in my car like we'll stop and get something to eat and then we'll eat you guys seen the videos but um they were everywhere like everywhere so i had got the raid for my job and on my break me and carissa had went outside to uh, spray my car. We need to get off this exit. There's too much traffic. So me and Carissa had went outside to spray my car, which she is such a great friend. I mean, I never had a friend like this. She's just great. I mean, I have a few friends like this, but she just went like above and beyond, and I'll tell you what happened. But um, we went outside to spray. I sprayed that raid everywhere. I mean, everywhere. I sprayed it inside of her car seat. I sprayed it everywhere because I did not want. Um, I did not want um, them to still be alive, and then I have to. I wasn't planning on driving, to be honest. I wanted Brandon to come get my car, some way, somehow. But I guess he had no way because I still had my car. And then, um, I need to get over because these cars are like trying to get in front. I don't know why, but, but yeah, sorry about that. Um, but yes, um, we have sprayed it everywhere. I mean, I don't really care what was going on. Like, I don't care to watch them die. I don't care. I want to get away from this car. I was about to start looking at how I could purchase a new car. I'm like, they can have it. I don't care. I mean, it was everywhere. And I sprayed all in her old car seat. Not this one that she's in now, but her old car seat. And um, I sprayed it on everything. I didn't care what I sprayed it on. It was on everything. And so later on, I had went back to work after my break because our break is like 15 minutes. And then I went back to work and then during lunch, which is like an hour, um, Krista says she'll take me to Walmart so I can get these um, bombs, you know, the little foggers and put it in my car. So my plan at first was to put the fogger in my car and leave my car at work. And then to be honest, I don't know how I was going to get to work the next day. And Carissa said that she will drive my car and I can drive her car and Harlan can sit in her daughter's car seat in her car um, because she didn't like the fact that Harlan had to sit in that aunt and best car. And I'm like, girl, you are so sweet. But long story short, Carissa drove my car, I drove her car, Harlan sat in her daughter's uh, car seat in her car and um, we drove all the way to my grandma's house like it was pretty it was a good distance from our job and Carissa she took that drive and I was just so happy to have somebody like that that is willing to do that for me and for Harlan and that's just the sweetest and um once I get to my grandma's I had my brother and them was there so my brother helped me get everything out my car 
and he helped me he vacuumed it for me he got all the food up like the big pieces of food and he just helped me get all the stuff out and stuff and he vacuumed my car and after a minute I was just looking around to see if I see any bugs and I'm like maybe we can make it to Brandon's grandma's house so I just took that chance I swapped her car seats with this one her old one which I actually like better anyways but it's just not as comfortable as the other one but I think she likes this one anyway and I swapped it out with this one and we booked it to his grandma's house because I was just scared that I would see some although after my brother got that done vacuuming and we got everything out I didn't see any more ants and um I mean I saw like like very few but it was like on the stuff that we had to take out the car but um once we got to his grandparents I took Harlan inside took all the important stuff in took her car seat out and took it inside um just so I can go ahead and start the fogger I started the fogger left it overnight and then this morning I had let my car air out took the fogger can out it did smell like it but um I let my car air out and then once Brandon got home um we wiped it down while Harlan was asleep because I can't do that while she's up she won't let me do anything but I mean we're driving in it now and I don't want to jinx it let me not say anything because I just do not want to jinx it like that that was just not fun for me seeing all of those ants I already don't like bugs and I was just not like I was not happy with my car and I was stressed the whole day at work I was working but I wasn't like focused focus I mean I was more like thinking about the ants in my car the whole day just like not focused on work but I got all my work done um well majority of my work done and I mean I don't know I just did not like that I remember one time my grandma had these red bugs in her car and I was like um, no because I'm not going to be in no car with red bugs but it was all in her back seat where I was sitting. Girl, let me tell you, I had to get on my feet and stand like I was squatting in the back seat. I was not gonna sit on the seat. No, I was in the front seat. I had moved to the front seat and I was squatting on the seat because I'm like, I'm not sitting on these bugs. It was a bunch of them. But I'm so glad those days are over. I pray that I do not see any in my car. And um yeah, right now I'm just taking Harlan to daycare and then I'm going to head to work. Um, I am fasting right now for keto because it's time for me to really start focusing and paying attention to my health and my body because I do want to get right. Um, but yeah, it's just time for me to like get myself together and that's what I'm going to do. I'm super excited to go to work. I mean, I'm excited to drop my island off at daycare. I like when she goes to daycare and I like her daycare. And that's rare because when she first started going to daycare, of course I was super nervous, but her first daycare she went to, it was not the best experience. Like one of the baby's mamas worked at the daycare and I just felt like they catered to her, to her baby. Every time I walked in, of course, Harlan was not happy being there, so she would cry. So they wasn't trying to, like, get Harlan from me. And I had to, like, be like, can you get her, please? Because they will be sitting there with that lady's baby the whole time. And I'm like, okay, let's cater to other kids, too. But um, I don't think they knew any better. And I think they just did that because her mama worked there. And, of course, she's going to be coming in there checking on her baby. And I'm just like, there's other kids here that needs this attention. Same attention that you're giving this lady's baby, y'all should give to other people's babies. And Harlan, they would be like, you can sit down on the floor. And I'm like, my baby is crying. Why would I sit her on the floor? And I just got so nervous to leave her every day. So I, every day I would be calling. 
to see how she's doing. And she was like a baby baby. So it's not like she's like up playing with her toys and playing with her friends. But that's what they said they were doing. She was like 10 months. So, but I mean, she can play with her friends with toys, but she's not like, you know, running around. She wasn't walking. But this daycare that she is, that she's at now, I love it. Like, I love the teachers. Harlan, I'm sure she loves it. You can tell when your child is not liking going to school. But she goes to the teachers well, unless she's like really sleepy in the morning and she just wants to be with me. But she has to go, but she loves it. Like she, they go outside, they take the kids outside. She's in the one-year-old class, but she started there in the infant class. And they take the kids outside in the morning and they have breakfast, they have snack, they have lunch and a snack and then another snack. And then they just play for the rest of the day until the parents can get them. And I'm just, and they take little pictures, like little um, pictures like Easter. She has an Easter picture out inside the clip now. She has her um, fall pictures. I just got notification of buying those because we just getting those so tomorrow I will be purchasing her digital images of her fall pictures and yeah I'm just so excited I mean today's gonna be a great day we're not gonna worry about anything we're not gonna stress it's gonna be a great day I'm although I'm gonna stress about how I'm gonna get gas in my car but it's okay it's gonna work out it's gonna be great um yeah, it's going to be great. Um, I hope you all have a good day. I just want to say thank you again for watching our videos and just supporting. Um, please subscribe, 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 and share these videos and like and comment. And thank you for watching. See you guys either later or tomorrow.